Hello everyone, this is Olga Media from You to You. As you know, Olga Media supports technology, culture and people. We are in San Jose, California, capital of Silicon Valley, with one of the famous lyrics, poets, even now upcoming producer in Bollywood, here in California with us, Sandeep Nath. Hello. How are you today? I'm fine, I'm fine. What a pleasure. I grew up with Indian movies, Raj Kapoor was famous in Russia, Kazakhstan and all of the republics of the Soviet Union at the time. And what was a pleasure to see poor become rich, unhappy, happy, singing, dancing, lots of colors. And here I am with one of the famous poets who actually wrote a lot of songs. How many songs do you have already in Bollywood? I've done almost 70 films and uh, about 200, more than 200 songs and uh, some of them are really, you must have heard their songs. There is a film called Ashiki Tu, the song, Sunda Hana Tu, and now my film, now I released just in the month of February last month, and the is going on. So, can you sing that beautiful song which is so popular right now? Apne karam ki karadaye Kar de idhar bhi tu nigahe Sun raha hai na tu Ro raha hoon mein Sun raha hai na Wonderful. Thank you. So, from two years old, your parents and your relatives knew that you have this talent. When did you know that you have the talent yourself? Actually, when I was 12 years old, then I got some old diaries which are uh, uh, given by my father to me. So, what I have to write in, in that diary? So, I started writing some poems, some lines and it was continuously going on. After four years, when I was 16, one day my mother got that diary and she told me, is it written by you? So uh, I told, yeah, yeah, it's, I was hesitating, but I told, yeah, it's my, my me. So well, then you put this line here and this put this line there. She did some correction into that and the meaning will be better. And from there, that, that was the first encouragement my mother was given to me and from there I started writing and slowly slowly after two three years people used to say me now you become a poet. So did you try anything else in your life to become a, a poet and become professional in the net? I have not thought of that because in India I'm from a middle class family so parents always think their children should get academic education first and after that either they become doctor or engineer or a scientist or they should get some government job. So that was the thinking pattern. But uh, I was a bit rebellious kind of person. So I told my mom one day, yeah, I don't want to go into government services. So then what you will do? I don't know. And it, my, mother, my mother said, what is this? I don't know. I'll, I'll, whatever come in my life, I'll do. But simultaneously, I was keep on writing. So, so what happened then? Uh, I was studying law. Academically, I'm a lawyer. So uh, in college functions, I used to recite some poetry and things that. Slowly, slowly, I become popular and I'm gonna start getting some prizes, some money for that. And uh, one day. An idea came in my mind because we all are fascinated by Bollywood songs. If I can write these things in Bollywood and films, so it will become big and it will go to more people. But it is how it will be possible because I live in a small town of northern India. Bollywood is in Bombay, it's almost 2000 kilometers far from that place. But if there is a will, there is a way. So suddenly, I found myself landed in 
Mumbai. And then what happens that with every newcomer who wants to make his career in Bollywood, I start meeting people. But before that, I was in Delhi and I wrote two books. So that two books were with me. That was one is a poetry book, the name Kuchko Kuch Bhi Naam Do. And one is a Hindi Ghazal book, Tarpan Abhi Andha Hai. What does it mean? Mujhko Kuch Bhi Naam Do means you can name me anything. It is a collection of 80 poetries. And second book is Tarpan Abhi Andha Hai. Mirat is still blind. A bit philosophical. So in that there were 64 ghazals. So that is a form of poetry in Hindi and Urdu. So I was carrying that two books with me in Mumbai and I uh, went to some producers, met, met some producers and directors. And uh, I remember there was a director called Mr. Ram Gopal Verma. He was a very big shot at the time. All the time, at least two, three hundred people were standing outside of his office. Some actors, some musicians, some uh, cameramen, that kind of uh, people. So, his one assistant, Mr. Praval Pandey, later on he became director. He was my friend. He introduced me to him. At that time, he was making a big film called Poon. It was a horror film. But he wanted a song in that film. So then he told me, generally poets write uh, romantic song, sad song, longing song. Can you write a horror song? That was a challenge, but I tried. And it was a bit approved. From then, my journey started in Bollywood. So when you do song, it's you, as you said before, it has to be part of the movie. And if you play as a video clip, um, it would be also understood by many as a separate story. So how did you make that happening? Very nice question. Actually, it is a very big challenge when we write for Bollywood films. So definitely, the song is going to come in the film, so it should be the integral part of the film. The stories and characters should relate with the song. But when you are playing this song separately in a television or playing only audio in radio, at that time there is no visual or there is no connectivity with the film. It becomes a small 5 minute or 6 minute different piece of art with the audio visual or audio. So writing should be like that. It should relate to the film and when you take it out of the film it should be its own meaning so that is uh, generally in my case i try to took care of that and uh, i think i uh, i could make it out so your poems usually about what as far as the films are concerned it depends on the story of the film the genre of the film and uh, what kind of characters the, the protagonist and the uh, rest of the characters and the situations which comes in the film. But when I write apart from film, for literature or for any magazine or newspaper, at that time it is a totally my way of thinking what happens around, around me. I depict on that and everything, whatever it is, it touches me, I write. Uh, whatever happening in society, uh, I'm from India, you know, two, three years back there was a bad incident happened in Delhi. So that affected me a lot. And uh, especially for women, I'm, uh, I generally prefer to write for them also because uh, I think there should be some equality into that. So that is one very emotional subject for me. And I used to write that topic also. So now being famous and have over 70 movies, you don't have to work anymore, you can just relax and um, have vacation all day long, every day. I think if you are a creative person, uh, you cannot stop yourself because everything which comes in your mind, it is a gift of God. So how can you stop that which is given by God? And poetry is not for me. I'm the only carrier. Poetry is for everybody. So, and writing gives me satisfaction and pleasure. So, whenever I complete a poetry or verse, I got that I'm in a heaven. So, I, and as far as the profession is concerned, though it become my profession, but basically by heart I'm a poet. So, uh, I think I would love if 
I could write it from the last breath of my life. So that's why long way to go, a lot of things to do. So keep on writing and I'm still hungry. Give me thoughts, to explore new thoughts, new words and new topics. You also give hope to a lot of people. And as you told me a story about the doctor and those who are hoping to have a child or they already hopeless, they cannot have children anymore. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? The story which touched you a lot. Uh, it is a very interesting incident in my life. What happened? Uh, my one friend, music director, he invited me for a function happening in his place. So suddenly he introduced me to somebody and he was a doctor. He told me, uh, doc Doctor, he is the, this is the man who wrote that song. Oh, so, you are that man. So, what happened? So, he told me, there is a song in film corporate, O Sikandar, O Sikandar. So, uh, yes, it is written by me. I'm a neurologist and I'm whatever, whenever a lot of couple comes to me and they have no child, they become hopeless. At that time, I give that song to them. Whenever you feel sad or bad, you just listen to this song. And you will get hope. And slowly, slowly, a lot of people, they, later on, they get their child or whatever. But at least they get some hope, some positivity in that, through that song. And on that day, I came to know, oh my God, my work affects people in that way also. So I think and I feel very happy and it is a really a remarkable moment for me. So I was appreciated myself on that day. Right. So that's you bring hope and even life, <laughs> supporting the life um, and your lyrics comes and become helpful to a lot of population. And you know that lyrics and songs actually for us, even when you are uh, giving me some of your poems I heard when you're talking, even I don't speak Hindu or Hindi you say, but I feel that it's like music. It's nice and powerful and so just kind of the music itself, even without no music, your lyrics, even without not understanding the words. And it's kind of nice. That's very interesting for me to see because I never heard the poems. I only heard the song. It's a very interesting question. Actually, every word has its own phonetics. So when you write a thought with correct words, with a correct phonetics, and convert into a sentence on meter, it becomes a poetry. Um, so, uh, I always, when I write, I always try to choose that kind of words, which means it's, without music, you can get a rhythm into that, a phonetic into that, and once music comes into it, it becomes more and more, uh, uh, you can say, more more hummable, more more singing, singable. So that's why uh, I try to choose that kind of words which have very good phonetics. And that's why the poetry uh, melts into you when you listen it without even without music also. Yeah, without even understanding the work. It huh. sounds like music. Exactly. Like yeah. it's going it's flows, from one yeah, to flows, another. Exactly. Yeah, it's like flows, flows and yeah. you can feel it. Yeah. You can hear it, yeah. and it's kind of nice. And actually, talking about feelings, you said it's a lot of feelings. It's correct. Actually, you can tell everything, you can say anything in prose form. Why put Because it enhances your feelings. It affects your feeling. It, so, feeling is an important part, very important, integral part of a poetry. If you, are, you have to say something with feeling, you should say in poetry form. Right. And um, a lot of, I mean everyone has feelings. Different cultures have feelings, maybe they express in different words, but the feelings are still the same. Yeah, emotion is very universal thing. So, what happened? When you study uh, different, different poetry, you will find that lots of similar things are told in every country, in every language. Mm -hmm. so, so, that's because you know, the emotions are universal. So, uh, that's why there is language is no barrier. 
if you are writing a poetry in whatever the language is but you, actually you are expressing the emotions right now what's your plans for the future plans i'm trying to make my film on film i have several scripts so i'm trying to tell my own story through my film and uh, apart from that writing poetry writing scripts i'll keep on doing that and these are my plans eh? actually i am a thinker that way so all the time whatever i see whatever i feel i just took a pen and just write it down yeah i heard that you like your friends here in california wake up with you singing the songs is that true <laughs> yeah that's true so, <laughs> and they get in happier with that now also festival of globe coming up here in california in san jose august 7 and 16 yeah. and you are making a big part of it too so what happened there is my friend called uh, dr sifuran to uh, whom i met uh, in the month of november when i was uh, traveling here so he told me that i have i've heard of that uh, uh, global movie festival so he told me he be he's in the uh, committee he told me he want to invite you as a global ambassador and uh, Apart from that, because there is Bollywood movie, there are two films, so we want to take you in our advisory board also. So it was a huge responsibility because I've heard a lot about the film festival and there is a parade also which is happening for last 22, which will be three years. But uh, then he introduced me to Dr. Ramesh Chopra, and both of them told me, "No, no, you have to come." So that's why I'm today here. and uh, we had lot of plans and lot of uh, planning for the festival to make bigger and bigger than uh, last years so hope this will this year will come to rock and uh, people are coming from entire world so that's why we here so hope so you are going experience. to meet again i am yeah. going to meet you again in the month right. of august right and then you experience in bollywood because this is not only bollywood and hollywood meet together it's all other companies yeah, yeah, they'll yeah. bring their movies that we uh, yeah we are planning that and mm -hmm. the films will be from china to vietnam to japan to to latin america every year filmmakers will come here and it will be a, become a big common platform for all filmmakers we will we will interact will see their film will show our film it will be a good platform for all kind of storytellers through audio visual media so you also working on the song for the yeah uh, we are planning to make a theme song for the uh, global fest so we are in the process so mm -hmm. hope very soon uh, you will achieve a good song good anthem kind of thing for this uh, global fest for this like um, yeah we call it folk festival of globe meaning the whole globe will be able to participate <laughs> and you came all the way from india and some people come from russia and kazakhstan and ukraine and many other countries as well so and we will be all together yeah. singing your theme song that would be wonderful there is a say in uh, our, in india in our uh, sanskrit language ki vasudhaiv kutumbakam it means whole family uh, whole world is a family so that is the theme of our this global movie festival so uh, this is true now uh, the entire world become a small village so in that uh, that the that to, to keep that thought in our mind we are going through uh, this to this festival and uh, hope uh, once the song will be made it will be uh, yes big hit Yeah, But now be... it will be all over the world, and we can do it like in Russian language. Yeah, yeah. We are, going, we, are, we are trying to make it in uh, multiple languages. Yeah. Yeah. Now, who inspired you, or do you have a heroes in your life? Actually, everybody is a hero for me because everybody has a capacity to do anything which is different and which is beyond imagination. anybody can do anything because it is just a moment and you suddenly become hero or heroine so i look towards everybody with a hope and what uh, whenever it is a, it could be anybody it, it is a if sometimes it is a player sometimes it is a musician sometimes it is a student whatever it is so everybody has a capacity to do something and that is fine wow 
So what would you suggest to the people when they go through hard times in their lives? Never get disappointed. Um, Always be optimistic. And never become hopeless. Okay. Because time will change. If there is a problem at this moment, next moment will come with some new thoughts, new hopes. So always be hopeful and life is beautiful. Always look forward and go ahead. Wow. So despite no matter what's happened in life, you just keep going forward. That's the life. That's the journey of life. And then if you say the words in the poetry then and the lyrics, that's even better for sure. I'll say one my gazelle. खुद को खोना चाहता हूँ सबका होना चाहता हूँ खुद को खोना चाहता हूँ सबका होना चाहता हूँ जिसपे हंसती है दुनिया उस पर रोना चाहता हूँ थोड़ा सा दुनिया का भाग मैं भी ढोना चाहता हूँ हर टूटे फूटे दिल में मैं एक होना चाहता हूँ जो जगाते सबको ऐसी नींद में सोना चाहता हूँ खुद को खोना चाहता हूँ सबका होना चाहता हूँ so what does it mean? Sounds it means, very beautiful. It means I want to lost myself. I want to become everybody else. Wow. So you do a lot of philosophical yeah. poems as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. And that's all this like kind of vision, big one. Where is that coming from? That is a mystery. I I I, I, I myself don't know how it comes. I think it is a gift of God. That's it. And you're just sharing it with the rest Obviously. of the world. Yeah, that's my duty also. If God is giving me something, it's not for me; it's for everybody. So through poetry, I want to express my feelings, which gave me by God. That's it. So when you heard your first song in Bollywood, <laughs> that was definitely because to make a mark in Bollywood is a bit difficult. Apart from talent, you need lots of luck and whatever you say. I don't know what is it luck or something else. So uh, and it was like a big dream come true. I was not believing it is my song which is I'm uh, watching in a television. But slowly, slowly, I started you know we started believing that it's my song. So now it has become a part of my life. But definitely in 2003 when my first film was released, it was a big thing for me. And, uh, it took time to believe myself that it is myself. Yeah, because when they told me that I'm going to be interviewing you, I listen to YouTube, look into Wikipedia, and then I'm like, okay, let me see lyrics. Who is written by? And then I saw your name, Sandeep Nath, and that was kind of, uh, I believe that it's definitely you. Because when I spoke to you, you're very humble, very easy to speak with and you're not like okay i'm like on top of the world i'm famous you're not nothing like that basically i'm a poet so and uh, poet should be like water it should be like free flowing and to fit in any pot so every human being is a pot and i go into their hearts so uh, i will say words of that जिंदगी और आशिकी में रिश्ता बहुत पुराना है जिंदगी और आशिकी में रिश्ता बहुत पुराना है तुझ तक तो मैं आ पहुंचा हूं लेकिन दिल तक जाना है लाइफ एंड लव आर द इंटीग्रल पार्ट बट आई रीच अप टू यू बट आई टू गो टू लव यू हार्ट सो now when you're doing a lot of movies and you want to make your own movie, um, bringing and touching a lot of parts all over the world, do you think that um, like after the movies, maybe you will teach at the universities? Did you ever think about to write poems? Did you ever think of that? I go, sometimes I go to some mass media uh, schools or some uh, film schools. So general, then I told what is story. I, 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 I generally interact with the mass com students and uh, film students. I, I, yeah, I used to go. Yeah, because you have such a talent. And knowing how to write philosophical thought and lyrics, that's also, it's even bigger talent. <laughs> 
and then it's like very interesting. Now, did you know anything about Russia when you grew up? Actually, I'm from India, and Russia and India, you know, are very good friends. Right. And uh, I've heard a lot of about Pushkin and uh, Lenin. They are uh, like heroes in uh, and in our country. And I've heard that um, Raj Kapoor Saab and uh, Mithun Chakravarti. Yeah, I grew up. They, they are it. very popular in uh, Russia. Right. Yeah. So that way, but I, I till date I have not visited there. But I'm uh, looking forward to go to Moscow and uh, uh, Saint Petersburg. I've seen a lot of photographs of that city and I, I find it one of the most beautiful places in the world. So I have a dream to go and uh, hope I will go to very soon. To St. Petersburg and uh, perhaps maybe Ukraine or other places? Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. All the nearby countries which was the part of uh, Russia. All are different. Even Tashkent, I would really love to go to Tashkent. Tashkent, yeah, Uzbekistan, yeah, Tajikistan. And, yeah, I was yeah. born in Kazakhstan, closer okay. to India. Okay. Definitely, yeah. I would love to go that film. Mm. That city is, and, uh, that, uh, and, and I've heard a lot of uh, folk music is there, and uh, so I want to listen to that music, and I want to interact with, with that people, what kind of film they are making, what is their art, culture, are definitely. Uh, uh, love to go there and want to interact with the people also. Right. So now you coming back to California to Festival of Globe and you will be working constantly from now to August and also helping us to understand what will be all about and come up with a song and lyrics and help to guide us because we have lots of movies coming up to that festival. But what would you like to wish to all of our viewers and listeners? I would say ki join us and make this festival bigger and bigger, larger and larger, and um, fulfill the thought philosophy uh, also they have to be the, the whole world is a family. Excellent. And that was Sandeep Nath, lyrics from Bollywood, all the way from India, here in California. And Olga Lidia from you to you. See you next time. Oh uh -huh.